Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. This is Popeye and we are the RC Sailors. Unfortunately, he gets pushed to the side because the star of the show today is the Armin Nero 6S four-wheel drive brushless one-eighth scale monster truck. We have the Arma series that has been on our channel behind us here to show you a quick size comparison because the first thing you'll notice about the Nero is it behemoths all the other RCs that we've had from the Arma series. Look at this, the Arma Raider to the 1 8 scale Arma Raider. Now compare this 1 8 scale buggy to the 1 8 scale monster truck. <laughs> There is no comparison. You would think that was like a 1 6th scale or something. That is just crazy. That's a 1 8th scale buggy right there. And just to compare one more vehicle, uh, this is a 1 10th scale monster truck, the Granite BLX, which is a really great little RC. And just to compare that 1 10th to 1 8th scale, there it is. It just behemoths. I mean, it, there's really no comparison in size at all, which just is mind-blowing, impressive, fun, and just <laughs> one, one reason alone to buy it, just right. the size. This truck is a beast. One thing we've always loved about the Arma series is how durable they are and how well-made Arma does all their vehicles. So we wanted to bring all our series out just to show you the difference and to show you how we love <clears throat> Arma. <coughs> and yeah, we've, <laughs> we, you know, the. We've got a bit of experience under our belt with Arma. This guy, though, blows these others totally out of the water, as it should. The price point is much higher. So we're gonna go over the things that we like and dislike in this video. This is our review. We've had our hands on this now for a couple weeks. We've really, really put it through its I paces. <laughs> We've got the uh, number one viewed speed test in the world online right now for the Arma Nero. And, you know, we've done bashing and just the unboxing. We've learned a lot since our unboxing to actually this part of the video now called the review. So we showed you the size. Uh, let's start with the outside here. You've got these giant monster tires. They're D-Boots tires, and they're actually really nice composite. They're a little on the hard side, but it's kind of a good all-terrain tire. You can drive it on mm -hmm. asphalt, rocks, sand, Everything dirt. we took it through, <clears throat> it just annihilated it, except for like pure shrubs. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, but that's... Couldn't go through trucks. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's understandable. So the tires are amazing, and I would recommend that if you do want to change the tires out eventually, just run these and run them hard until finally you shred one or something. But we ran ours very hard with no issues, no tearing, no coming apart at the seams or anything. Now the body is super nice because it is a very tough, durable Lexan body. It is Lexan, so it's going to get dented in your hard crashes, which ours has some dents in it now. And uh, the body clips are held on with these rubber connectors. I love those. We absolutely love that attention to detail because you're not going to lose your body clips. It's just annoying to lose them. And uh, just a little tidbit of information for anyone out there that likes using cameras. We put some Velcro strips on the top and back here and it held on really, really well. So uh, it's a good body plastic material to uh, put velcro and things on now let's move on from this lexan body i really want to talk about what's underneath that body because this alone they could almost i think i think arma could sell this as a vehicle in and of itself forget the body <laughs> because this thing looks like the batmobile mm -hmm. how awesome is that it does look pretty sweet it's got this very just aggressive manly like i'm gonna tear something up look to it before it even gets power underneath the hood it is just an awesome redesign from the ground up when i took the body off for the first time i was expecting to see a flat tray mm -hmm. servo mounted up front motor mounted in the back some metal plates because that's what armor usually has right metal plates <laughs> but that is not the case they have something in here called cantilever shocks these are our first cantilever shocks on the channel i didn't know that at the time of the unboxing but i did know that i was impressed by how they looked um, thanks to our subscribers and just a little bit of research that i've done 
I know and understand cantilever shocks a bit better now. And for those of you that don't have cantilever shocks yet, because we've featured tons of vehicles mm -hmm. on our channel without cantilever shocks, uh, these basically allow you to have a good range of uh, movement in the shock without having to raise the vehicle up too high. And that's good because you're not going to roll the vehicle as much now that it sits lower, but you still have a lot of range in your shocks. So they are getting a bit squeaky now because, uh, well, we need to put some WD-40 in there or something to it get with all the dust and dirt, it gets in there and dries it out. So uh, all those little bearings, we need to kind of grease back up. Love that cantilever shock design. And uh, I'll try to show you guys here. It just looks <clears throat> really cool too. Amazing design, absolutely amazing. So uh, moving on from, from the shocks, I'm gonna just go ahead and point out probably the biggest negative thing of the Arma Nero. Uh, I think both versions have experienced this problem. The steering servo is, uh, I think, Arma's biggest and best steering servo, but um, may, not, may not be all of them, but ours, when we, when we steer it a bit, and then let go of the uh, transmitter to center the steering, it does not come back to full center all the way. It's almost like it's not strong enough to. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's pretty sluggish in steering too. It wasn't in our speed run, but after we bashed it, it got very sluggish in steering. So I don't know if we got some dirt in there or it needs to be cleaned out or, or what's going on, but that's something I'd consider upgrading uh, very, very soon down the road because <clears throat> it's just a little annoying that it doesn't center back out. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that, that's really the only negative thing that we experienced in driving and bashing as far as breaking something goes. The battery tray on this vehicle is pretty sweet. You've got this little button on the side that you press and it releases the little double lock and you have access to your batteries. Uh, let me just, I've got mine in here really tight with some extra foam so they didn't shake around. It does come with that foam actually, so. Well, I, uh, big rock. Yeah, it's big rock. As I was saying, I love the battery system. It's easy access. You can drop your batteries out from the bottom without even taking that body off. And uh, we're running these Onyx 5400, three cells, so it's a total of six cells. It's a 50C discharge rating with XT90 connectors. So don't be thrown off by that. I have some batteries that are XT60s. They're smaller than this. This is an XT90, a big yellow plug. I really thought I was going to convert these to Deans, but I like the connection. I like how solid it is, and I like that it really keeps the dust and dirt out. So mm -hmm. probably going to hold on to this and see about maybe doing some more XT90 stuff later down the road. I, I do like that. Not that I don't like Deans. Deans is still my favorite two of these batteries and uh, each of these batteries are $90. So you're looking at $180 for two batteries to run this at six cells. That is expensive on power, but when you get into vehicles of this size and this much amazingness, it's gonna cost a little bit more. The motor in this is a massive 2000 kV brushless motor, just providing tons of power. We got ours to go 53.44 miles per hour right out of the box. That's 86 kilometers an hour. Now they claim you can go 60 miles an hour, and I believe you can. But not right out of the box. It comes with a... 15T. A 15T? Is that what pinion. that other one is? Mm -hmm. uh, ours came with a... Ours came with a 15T pinion gear installed, and you do get with the bag of goodies in here. You do get a 17T pinion gear that comes with it, but the 15T pinion gear is installed. This is gonna give you higher speeds, and they recommend the 15T for off-roading. Really, unless you're at a NASCAR racetrack and you really wanna get that extra five miles an hour out of it, just hold on to your 17T and have fun with the this safer. This thing is crazy fast, and coming at you, it's very scary. It's intimidating. <laughs> this is the heaviest RC we've had on the channel. I don't know, I don't have a weight for you. It is crazy heavy though. And if that hit you going 50 miles an hour, you're probably going to the hospital. So be very careful driving this and how you drive it. Please do not hurt anybody. <sighs> it's, a, it's a hobby. It's meant to be fun, not dangerous. It's, I mean, our vehicles, our full-size vehicles that we drive on the highway, speed limits are usually 55 miles an hour. This is going 54 miles an hour. That is mind-blowing. It's four-wheel drive, too. So, 
Speaking of which, the four-wheel drive, uh, let's move on from the vehicle itself to the uh, transmitter. It comes with a tactic transmitter. The TTX 300. I love this. The ergonomics of it are outstanding. You have all the trim functionalities that you need on it. Throttle trim, steering trim, steering direction trim. You also have a standout knob at the front labeled with um, the differential lock system. And you have this knob on the front with whichever version you get, the blue or the green, you've got this knob on the front which would lead you to believe that you could actually change the modes on this. Though we knew going into this, ours is a $700 model. The blue one with the brain is an $800 model. I knew that this function wouldn't work. Probably no reason for them to make one without the knob. They include the knob because you can upgrade it to have the brain later. Now, I did. I was under the impression that uh, this version could change the modes somehow under the hood, like manually, without doing it remotely. I thought that $100 difference was so that you could turn this knob and do it remotely on the blue one. Again, I thought you could change the modes on this. I was totally wrong. It comes on one mode. It's their speed mode. Blast is what they call it. That's right. So if you get the green one, you've got one mode. And I've been told that uh, you'll be able to upgrade this by adding that brain later. I don't know how much the brain is. And, and I do know, and I recommend anybody that's going to spend $700 on an RC and $200, $200 more dollars on batteries, just spend the other $100. Spend the extra $100 and get the one with the brain. That is the biggest tip, the biggest recommendation I could give anybody looking at this. This is great. It, it almost makes you wonder why they even bothered to make the, I agree. the version without it. I, if it was like know. a 250 or $300 yeah, difference. like a bigger price jump, I would get that. But I could it's justify such a that. small jump. It's a very small jump. That's exactly right. And, and to justify that extra $100 even more, uh, you've got four drive modes. You have a drift mode, a uh, wheelie mode, speed mode, which is what we have, and a rock crawling mode. And you're, you're pretty much getting four vehicles in one when you have that brain. I really so, wanted to do the wheelie mode. I wanted to do the crawling mode. And why not drift with a monster truck? That sounds awesome. Why not? Well, we can't. <laughs> so we have limitations on ours. We've got a $900 vehicle that does speed mode, and if we would have gone with another $100, we'd have four more modes, or well, three more, four total modes. So that's a huge, 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 huge tip for anybody looking to buy this that hasn't bought it yet. Just get the blue one. Yes, get the and one the green the one is labeled as just the Nero 6S. The blue one has in the title Nero 6S with diff brain. That's right. The differential brain. Okay, now that's really, we've kind of broken it down for you as much as the RC sailors break things down. If you want to check out all the true technical jargon, I'll provide the link to Arma RC in the description box below. They have done an amazing job on their website and promoting this, the videos explaining things and showing fine detail shots and stuff. As far as we're concerned, the average consumer, would you, would you buy this and have fun with it? Is it worth its money? Is it durable? Are there replacement parts if you need them? Those are the things we're concerned about. Arma has some of the best replacement parts and customer service because they're backed by Tower Hobbies and Hobbyco. So that's, that's an amazing company. You don't have to worry about part availability or anything like that. So two huge thumbs up. Ergonomics of the controller, design overall of the vehicle. Just an absolute blast. It's a head turner, it's a jaw dropper, it's stupid fast, <laughs> it's almost too fast, and it's four wheel drive. So you're gonna be able to pull, you know, 50 miles an hour in the grass too. It's crazy how impressive this is. Is it worth its money? That price tag? Mm -hmm. I think it is. I really think it is. Yeah. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I wish the price difference between the brain and the not brain versions was a little bit bigger, but since it's so small, 
I'll say it one last time, if you're gonna buy the Nero, get the one with the brain. It's a no-brainer. That's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, we like it. It's gonna be here in the RC Sailor household in my garage for quite some time to come. Two big thumbs up. Hopefully we get to take this out and bash it as often as possible because it's it's probably our most impressive ground vehicle that's ever been on the channel. And uh, that says a lot. That really says a lot. We really like this, it's a lot of fun. Pick it up for yourself, get it for someone for Christmas. You will, there's no doubt in my mind, even if you get this version, it'll, you will smile. I mean, it is, <laughs> it's just fun. Thanks a lot for watching guys, for more RC reviews, uh, giveaways every month and just fun in the hobby in general of RC stuff. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.